Hey everyone, what's going on uh, this morning? Uh, it's about 2.30 a.m. here in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and I got my new uh, SRAM Eagle Axis, the new transmission group set for my uh, 2022 Santa Cruz Heckler V9, which uses the uh, universal derailleur hanger on it. I finished building this bike up uh, custom build on it a couple weeks ago. Just haven't had time to ride it. As most of you that watch my videos know, I've been spending most of my time on my uh, Yamaha R6 trying to get that finished up. And uh, I'll have some more videos coming on that probably tomorrow. Some other stuff I did to it. But want to get this uh, installed tonight and um, actually have a. I put a, a brand new uh, SRAM XX1 axis, uh, the um, oil slick cassette on this, along with the new chain. Um, I have the uh, the Hope direct mount chain ring on this for the Shimano EP8 uh, motor. And um, I know SRAM has a uh, uh, EP8 compatible chain ring to go along with this new, uh, the they call it the T-type chain that it uses. It's a flat top chain. I'm not really sure if I would actually need that because uh, this Hope chain rings, it's a 12, for 12 speed chains. So I think the pitch and everything should be the same on it. But once I get it mounted up and fitted on there, I'll see um, how the chain fits on that chain ring. If not, um, I'll have to wait and get the uh, the one especially made for the T-type chain. And I um, already got the uh, the uh, controllers mounted up on here. I uh, really like the uh, new design they did on this. Here's the uh, old one that I have. Um, I upgraded the uh, to the more ergonomic uh, paddle on mine on this. So I have the... Uh, the new Hope Tech 4 V4 brakes on this bike and it has the uh, shift mount adapter on it right here. This only came with this one style clamp. I know they do have um, another clamp style that will work for this um, but I haven't been able to find it in stock anywhere yet to buy it so this is still really new so a lot of the stuff isn't in stock yet mostly just seems like group sets and the cassettes and the chains so wait a little bit. Um, the way I have this set up now, it's a little bit too far to the right hand side for um, how I like my hand positioning on the grips. So basically with my hand right here, it just seems like it, it might hit it a little bit. Um, I did move the, the brake over a little bit, but I feel like the lever is a little bit too far over for like where I like it. So I'll just have to play around with this. maybe. If I flip this clamp around maybe to have it angle the other way, but I'm not really sure. But basically all you do is loosen this T25 Torx here and that'll allow this to move up and down. And then the uh, the clamp around this, um, the, the pod goes in here, then allows you to rotate this up and down. And then you can also change the uh, buttons on this too. Uh, so I like the two button, it's a lot more ergonomic I think on this so um the groups that I got was the uh XO uh it's the cheapest one they had $1,600 USD on that uh since this is an e-bike um they recommend the XX version or the XO uh to use on e-bikes and um I'm gonna go over uh some weights on some of the uh previous uh axis stuff and then on this new eagle the transmission and the thing i really like about this uh the new system on it is this how the uh derailleur no more derailleur hanger this bolts right up uh, it's so easy and simple to set up the derailleur no um b gap to worry about and no limit screws to worry about and i know a lot of people are knocking this new design um saying how it's oh, it's gonna you know bend your frame or crack the carbon or cause damage to it and a lot of the reviews i've been reading and videos i've watched on uh, youtube uh, i mean it takes a huge amount of force um to even damage that derailleur and it the derailleur broke before it even caused any damage to the um, frame or anything like that so i mean you're really gonna have to 
just uh, hit it off something hard to to uh, damage it. And this whole der new derailleur, it's already buildable. Um, you can replace the cage on it, um, all these other things it has on it. So got the scale set up over here, um, different uh, previous chains, derailleur. So here's the uh, the new derailleur right here. So see how it mounts up on the uh, frame if you have the UDH for it. Um, another thing that's really cool is you can just um, push or twist the cage around like backwards and it pops out from um, down here at the bottom. So it's another really easy part if you need to replace it or bend something down there. Uh, I do like the uh, XXSL version, which is for um, more of XC type riding uh, that has a carbon cage on it. But like I said, all these um, derailers parts are interchangeable. So maybe down the road, once all those other parts become available, um, upgrade to the uh, carbon cage on it. And then these have um, some type of protectors on them, which I'm assuming it's these plastic pieces here with the um, screws I'm not really sure um, I know the main differences between this XO derailleur and the XX is that this says the XX version has a little bit better or better quality or something with the um, protectors on it but like I said they're all interchangeable as well and also the XX version and the um, XXSL the uh, lower jockey wheel on them they call it the magic wheel that has on it this one doesn't have it so if you say you get a stick stuck in the in the lower jockey wheel the upper part um, it'll still spin even if the bottom parts like locked up so that's pretty cool and like I said that's all interchangeable too so maybe something to upgrade down the road and once all those uh, parts become available um, and this one here this is my uh, X01 um, derailleur I previously had it on a uh, Trek Fuel EX 9.9 um, Project 1, and I just transferred it over to the uh, Santa Cruz. I think I have around, around 450 miles on this thing. Um, I just put new uh, jockey wheels on it, but not a single issue with this thing at all. It's flawless, never any shifting problems or anything, so I'll probably have this up for sale since I won't need it anymore. And then here's the... Uh, the new chain that comes with the uh, XO group set. It's just a black chain, uh, solid pins on it, which I think it'll maybe give it a more strength for the uh, e-bikes. Um, so I'll have to check on check that once I get some miles on it. And then this is a brand new uh, XX1 rainbow chain, which has hollow pins on it. And with this new flat top chain, um, I put a pair of calipers to compare the uh, width between this and the uh, XX1. The XX1 came in at around um, 5.24, and the flat top chain comes in right around five millimeters wide. So this uh, flat top chain is a little bit um, thinner or narrower, whatever you wanna call it, than the uh, previous version. And then uh, we have the New cassettes over here. This is the uh, new uh, X, X, or I'm sorry, the X uh, O version. And you can see the way they did this is, I believe this, these gray pieces here, this is all one piece or the X dome they call it. And then um, the this cog here and this one here are both steel. And then they still do the uh, aluminum on the uh, 52 tooth cog up here. And the way it's, uh, I don't know if you can see it, it's all uh, pinned different on the back. And um, I think the main difference is between the XX and the uh, XO version on these cassettes that I could find is that the XX version, I guess, on these upper... These two uh, steel cogs here, I guess it maybe uses a little bit hardened, more hardened steel or a different type of steel on it for uh, more longevity on it. But we'll see how this uh, holds up, how long it lasts. And the red part in there you see is um, 
where you would set the uh, chain up on this once I get the derailleur set up it'll tell you which um, cog to put it on to get it all set up and then here is my uh, XX um, one oil slick 1052 tooth uh, cassette here brand new haven't even used it so we get rid of this so you, as you can see on this this is all all the rainbow part is all one piece then that's pinned to the back to the 52 tooth cog on this one which is aluminum so new one set up a little bit different um, I'll check some of the weights on this stuff now and see what we uh, come up with here so I'll put the uh, XO new uh, cassette up here see what we're at so we're right around 300 81 382 grams on this and let's go to the xx1 so 371 on the uh, previous version so yeah about 11 12 gram difference um i'm not super big on uh trying to save weight or anything since this e-bike's already like 50 51 pounds i think so I know this actually these whole new transmission systems they said are already going to be a little bit heavier than the uh, previous uh, generation or previous versions on it. So let's go with the uh, new XO derailleur here and see what we come up with. So we're at about 430 grams on the XO derailleur here. And go to the XO1. See what we come up with. Oops. All right, so this one, yeah, we're about yeah, 399 grams on this one, 398. So, of course, well, this still has the battery in it, and the other one does not have the battery installed in it yet. So, um, I guess add a little bit more. Um, let me go grab the battery real quick, and I'll throw it on the scale and uh, see what it comes up to here uh, sorry about that I can try and get it out one-handed here give me just a second to get this battery out hold on all right now we got the battery all right so now we're at yeah, about 456 grams, so it is quite a bit heavier than the uh, X01 uh, previous version on that. And let's go with the chains now. I already have the uh, new uh, flat top chain, the links cut out of it to where I need the correct length on it. It tells you all that in the setup. It's a pretty cool uh, link you can go to, put in what bike you have what year it is, what size frame you have, and it'll give you all the specs on what you need to cut the chain to and how to get the derailleur set up and everything else. So that's pretty sweet. All right. So we're about 272, 273 grams on that flat top chain. And I have a feeling the XX1 chain's gonna be quite a bit lighter since it's all hollow pins. So that we're at, yeah, 248 grams on that. So 248 on that. Go back and check that just to see here. Yeah, so 273. It's about 33, 34 grams heavier on the uh, flat top chain. So yeah, I'm excited to get this installed, uh, see how it all works. Um, price wise on it though, I feel it is a little bit, um, pricey. I know a lot of people probably can't afford it. Um, the one that I, this one that I got came with the, uh, aluminum dub crank, which obviously I can't use on the, uh, e-bike. So I'm probably going to sell the, uh, crank for, from it as well. Um, but all right, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing installed and, uh, should be uh, pretty simple. I uh, already watched some setup videos on it, read the instructions. If you guys have any questions on that, let me know. Thank you.